A shocking CCTV footage uh, emerging now of uh, this woman journalist who had been molested at ITO metro station. It has now surfaced and which we, in which you can see clearly on your television screens uh, this 25-year-old woman being molested at the ITO metro station. Well, this is exclusive to Mira now at this point. Not just uh, that, when she went to file a complaint, she was allegedly made to wait for 90 minutes by the CISF personnel. But uh, that footage clearly showing how this man is harassing, assaulting this woman journalist, which you can clearly see on your television screens. We've got that uh, all captured. We've got that footage on which it's uh, clearly captured how this man is assaulting this 25-year-old woman journalist. But Apurva is joining us live for further inputs. Apurva, this is shocking uh, CCTV footage that we've got access to exclusively here at Mirror Now. We can clearly see this man groping and assaulting this woman journalist here, taking advantage of the fact that that entire area does not have any security personnel apart from the fact that it's entirely deserted. That's right, and that actually raises a lot of questions on how even inside the metro stations, the entire question of security is something that is now out in the open. More importantly, the manner in which this entire case has been dealt with, this complainant had to sit with the CISF for 90 minutes trying to get her complaint across while the CISF at that point refuses to get a complaint saying that it is out of their jurisdiction, clearly raising questions. And as you pointed out, even in that CCTV which we have access now, clearly shows how in that entire stretch there is not even one security personnel in that area even in that entire uh, uh, place you can see not even one security person is even stationed out at that point so clearly there is a lot of questions being raised on the kind of security apparatus in place even inside metro stations which is considered to be very safe now even if metro stations are not safe and this is the ITO metro station we are talking about which is usually buzzing with people it is one of the prime areas and it is barely two 200 meters away from the police headquarters. That is indicative of how lawless uh, the national capital has become. More importantly, there is absolutely no fear of law that is there uh, with all these people who uh, are perpetrators of this crime. They have absolutely no fear of law having committed a crime just barely 200 meters away from the police headquarters in a place where there is absolutely no security, not even one security guard can be stationed there. And on top of it, you have the CISF who refuses to take the uh, acknowledge it and goes on to say that it is not in that jurisdiction. For 90 minutes, this complainant had to go through this ordeal trying to get her complaint lodged. But the uh, CISF goes on to say that it is not under the jurisdiction. Clearly, we have to see if any kind of action really is initiated against all these people who refuses to even acknowledge a crime of this sort, who refuses to take a complaint, who refuses to acknowledge what really has happened and the kind of ordeal that this particular person has to go through.